Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my setup video at last we're here and uh, here is my setup and that's the end of the video no I'm just joking uh, yeah I've got I'm gonna show you guys like kind of what I use uh, on an everyday basis how my entire setup is and uh, what sort of things I use I guess and uh, by the way all the links to the stuff I talk about in this video will pretty much be in the description besides obviously you know the random small things but uh, for example like my keyboard mouse your headset whatever those links will be in the description uh, just so you guys know that if you uh, because I can imagine I'll get a lot of questions like uh, what is the name of it where can I buy it that sort of thing so uh, the links are gonna be in the description and uh, you guys can feel free to go and check um, all the things that I have here out in the description anyways enough chitter chatter and blabber let's get straight into it so we'll start off here with a, a bit of awesomeness um, this is uh, the headset that I use here is the Sennheiser or Sennheiser um, headset. It's the uh, PC363D. I'm not too sure if it's just out yet, actually. Um, I think when I got given them, they weren't out yet, but uh, Sennheiser have been nice enough to give me two headsets here. And uh, I think this is the uh, PC363D and this is the 360D. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but um, they're just very slightly different and they're both brand new. And I'm gonna be giving them away on my Twitter and on my Facebook uh, page. So make sure you've uh, liked my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter if you would be interested in winning one of these, I guess. But uh, yeah, sorry for my shaky camera work. Um, I've not got the most steady of hands and yeah, let's get into it so we'll start over by the window and uh, first off we have my MacBook there I just watch movies you know once I've gone off the big Papa computer over there I tend to just chill and uh, watch movies series like Dexter and Suits two of the best series ever if you haven't watched Dexter and Suits I don't know what you're waiting on um, charger stuff there um, energy drink stuff um, this was sent to me by Gamma Labs and their energy drinks taste really good so I was like Give me all of it, and there's actually a crap ton of it in there. Um, we have a couple bags here, and the mother of all piggy banks. Brought to you by Carlsberg. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's literally a really cool uh, piggy bank, but unfortunately, I'm broke as shit. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of broke at the moment. My hands are really red right now, uh, mainly because I've actually just been out walking the dog. And in Scotland, it's not exactly the warmest and tro most tropical climate, so... Yeah, let's move along to this side of things, and we have the belts and tie collection. Um, we also have a whiteboard that I planned on using when I first got it. I was like, I'm going to be all organized, I'm going to have all this awesome stuff going on, and just a bunch of reminders, and yeah. As you can see, that hasn't turned out too well, but eventually I will get around to using it a little bit more. We have some gloves there, and that's like the biggest piece of equipment you need if you live in Scotland. And uh, I'm moving down to London soon, so hopefully... Um, I won't need to use those as much. I can't wait to move down to London. I'm moving in with a couple of other dudes on the YouTube scene. And uh, here we have uh, Bose headsets. I don't know whether it's Bose or Bose. Uh, but it's actually headphones, not a headset, sorry. And uh, I use that for traveling airplane stuff. It's got noise cancellation, so you don't hear that annoying buzz going on in the background. Uh, a couple controllers here that I don't use anymore. I'll explain that when we get around to uh, my controllers that I do use. A poor LCD screen that has gotten the boot. Unfortunately, um, there is no need for this. Uh, I think it's a 19.5 inch um, LCD screen. It actually was fantastic when I first started to use it. But um, I uh, hired the assistance of these two uh, Asus 24 inch screens there. And it works as like dual monitor so you can drag things across. And ever since I got these two, it has just been so much better. So unfortunately, this one I don't really have any use for at the moment. I'm sure I'll find something. But at the moment, it just sits there looking all lonely and kind of stares at me and makes me feel guilty that I don't use anymore. But uh, moving on to the stuff drawer. Literally every guy has this drawer. And don't lie to me because I know you have a drawer just packed with random cables and stuff. And uh, even old stuff that you're never going to use like this um, snowball microphone here that I just found absolutely miserable. I couldn't stand it. It was... Uh, Definitely not a good experience using that blue snowball. And uh, then we have like the shifty bags. I swear these look as if they should have some sort of drugs in them or something. Or they just look like oversized condoms. I mean, look at those. <laughs> they are huge. Unfortunately though, it is uh, as much as I wish it was a packet full of drugs or whatever. Um, they are just, I bought three too many HDMI cables. So sorry about the letdown guys. But uh, yeah, uh, moving on, we have the Razer headset here. I use this one for gaming and things like that for when I'm a PC gaming for 
all the good stuff. It's uh, much more customizable. That's why I like it. And uh, they're actually pretty comfy. Um, so you can change the bass, you can change the mic sensitivity using this little hub thing here. And it's just a lot better for gaming. Whereas I use, I do use this Sennheiser one or Sennheiser. I'm not too sure how to say it. Um, but I use these ones for like your everyday, um, you're just browsing on the internet, music, YouTube videos, that sort of thing. So I use that one. And like I said, I'm actually giving one of those away over there. And there are my chinos because I'm a chino wanker. So, uh, yeah, that's why I have that. And then if we move on to the back, we have the two consoles, PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, just a little heads up, guys. I just want to say this now that um, I'm going to be leaving the links to all the products, or I, I don't want to say products, all the stuff I have um, here in case you get, so it just saves all the questions like, what is this? Where can I buy it? All that sort of thing. All the links to this sort of stuff will be down in the description. I'll try and put in as many as I can, so my apologies if I do forget any of the stuff, but uh, like I said, I'm going to try and do my best to link all the stuff in the description. Anyways, like I said, Xbox 360 and PS3 don't really use the PS3 too much, although today I was trying something out, so um, that's why that's got a little red light, because it was on today, but usually I'm always on the Xbox. Now moving on to the dual screens, I already briefly spoke about them, but uh, the highlight of my setup is my stripey pillow. Yeah, it is so awesome, it's so comfy as well. And uh, considering I sit my fat ass on here every day, um, it's pretty much necessary. Like I said, those are my um, headphones there, so they're the Sennheiser um, 363D ones. And let me just sit down here and I'll briefly talk you through all the stuff. So, like I said, these are two 24-inch Asus monitors. Um, here, you guys might be like, why do you have two mice? And uh, one, this one is for editing and, you know, your just general sort of use. Um, like, e editing, just browsing the internet and stuff. And then this Razer one here next to it, if you guys can see it at all it's kind of dark but um yeah that one there i use for gaming and things like that um i i mainly only use this one but like i said when i'm playing pc games or recording or uh, playing minecraft or whatever and even minecraft yeah, i don't even tend to need to use up any of the call of duties on the pc then i use the uh, razor one because i find razor are much much better when it comes to uh, sort of the gaming side of things but as far as you know for comfort and things like that i tend to just prefer this logitech g5 g500 but uh, yeah, let's get take a look at the controllers really quick. So we have the Razer Onza here, and they actually have an updated version of this out called the Sabertooth. And so that's the one I'm going to leave in the description. Actually, one of those are, is on its way. And um, this is definitely the sort of uh, controller you want to use for um, the things like uh, uh, Call of Duty, things like that, those sort of games. Whereas my FIFA controller is this Ma MLG Mad Cats one. I used this over at one of the EA events, um, and it was just so, so good. And uh, I decided when I came back, I would have to use it. Um, so, yeah, that's why I have this one. And it's just so much better. I much prefer it. Um, most of the Mad Cat stuff that I actually tried beforehand, I really didn't like. But for some reason, that particular controller was really good. Um, here, just your sort of standard PS3 one. Like I said, I don't really use it too much. So, um, that's why I just have the normal one. Um, over here, we have literally the best keyboard in the world. I love this keyboard. <laughs> it is so awesome. I'm a simple guy, and simple things amuse me. So... Calculator mode. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, like I said, there's, I, you can actually do a whole bunch of stuff on this little um, uh, trackpad thing as well. It also works as a trackpad. But, uh, yeah, it's just really cool. And not to mention, the main reason why I like it is just for the reason that I can type really fast on it. I don't know why, but this keyboard, I can type so much faster than I could on my old Logitech keyboard, which is over there sitting right at the back, that big black square against the wall. Um, yeah, so I don't know what it is about this one, but I just uh, much prefer this one compared to all the other ones that I've used. Um, another piece of godly equipment is actually the mouse pad. And if, li let me just move this thing real quick. I'm wearing my dressing gown at the moment because I'm just so lazy, so yeah. Um, look at this, I think it's called like the Goliath or something like that. Um, it is so awesome. It is literally an entire, what do you call it? An entire sort of mat of just a uh, trackpad. It's really good. Unfortunately, my desk isn't big enough to the point where I can have, you know, my keyboard and then just have the mouse completely dedicated to that huge long thing there. But uh, yeah, I just have to have the um, keyboard on it because unfortunately my desk isn't quite big enough. So it kind of gets shared along with um, this uh, mouse pad here. And the reason why I have this mouse pad on top of a mouse pad, it's like mouse pad inception. Um, is because the Logitech actually doesn't really respond well to the texture of the uh, Razer Goliath thingy, whatever you want to call this big uh, mouse pad. So that's why I have to put this one on top. 
Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that is pretty awesome. And then we have my 32-inch uh, TV, which works pretty well. I got this for my birthday, actually, um, which was pretty cool. And it is a really good TV. It's Panasonic. That's about as much as I can say about a TV, I guess. It's no 3D or no fancy stuff like that, and that's the remote for it. Um, now you guys are all like, wow, you know, it's actually a pretty tidy room. Like, wow, it's pretty neat. And then... You come to the back and you're like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> and yeah, that's literally what I ask myself all the time. And as you can see, my webcam fell down the back there. Um, that's actually a really good webcam as well. I sh really shouldn't be leaving it lying around the back there. But um, yeah, this is uh, cable hell, really. Um, I should really try and sort of tidy it up a little bit, but uh, I can't be bothered. And it all gets dusty around the back and uh, I just don't want to mess with it. Especially since I'm moving relatively soon. I decided that um, it'd be best to just leave it, you know? Um, and here we have, like, the best piece of equipment ever. And uh, here is the Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, I was actually doing a bit of a comparison test today. That's why it's got a little blue light and it's on. But this thing is just so clunky and so bad. I, I cannot stand it. It gives me corrupt files. And just look at the size. It's like an eighth of the size. Look at the Elgato just... Oh, it's just so much better for me. Um, not to mention, look, two cables in, two cables out. Look at the back of this. Four cables, oh, eight cables there, and another two on the left there, making that ten cables. Like, there's just no need. So, for me, the Elgato is far better. Um, it's just what I prefer using. Actually, like I said, I was doing something on the PS3 today, so I have it hooked up to the PS3. And uh, that's why that's um, it would 99% of the time it's always hooked up to the Xbox, but because of the fact that uh, I was on the PS3 today, it was hooked up to the PS3. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the shelf of just random stuff. I have a lot of school books and things that I need to get rid of. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just want to put them in a fire and just burn them all up because uh, I'm done with school now. It's over. Um, so let's take a look. So like I said, I don't play the PS3 much, but it's actually my first console. Um, well, not my first, um, you know, uh, console of that generation, I suppose. Um, I, you know, obviously I had the PS1 and the PS2 and things, but, um, yeah, so I started off with the PS3, then I got the Xbox. But here are the games in MotorStorm. That is like an old school PS3 game. I love that game. Uh, that was the first one that I got. I mean, look how old these are. Madden 07, NBA uh, 2K7, and those games. FIFA 09 there. Um, you know, so I played a lot of uh, really old PS3 games, but now I'm more of an Xbox guy, so you can expect the usual Black Ops 2, uh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, those sort of games. You guys can look at it for yourself. Um, and then the mother of movies, Step Brothers. You should not have to go through life without watching this. That is such a good movie. In fact, so is Cool Runnings. Yeah, and White Chicks. Yeah, so go and watch all three of those movies. You will not regret it. But you might be like, wow, okay, so those are probably Callum's favorite movies. No, you're wrong. I'll show you what my favorite ever movie is, okay? Here it is. Mean Girls. And it's the very first one as well. And I know you guys like it too, so don't lie. The first Mean Girls was awesome. Lindsay Lohan in her prime, she was just godly. Um, the second one was just complete trash, but uh, the first one was just amazing. So yeah, how about that? And then we have my two speakers there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the is set up from here. We obviously have the PC, which is under here. Um, it's actually uh, sideways, so you guys might not be able to see much. The lighting isn't really that good, but it is a big PC. I'll leave the specs of the PC in the description. Um, it is a custom built one, so that's why I can't uh, sort of link you to a page to go and buy the PC. Um, and that for that reason, obviously, I can't... Uh, Link it down below. So I'm going to just link the specs and you guys can take a look at it yourself. And it's just cable hell again down here. We have the, I don't even know if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to pretend and kind of like draw an outline for you all. Yeah, okay, that didn't work out too well. But yeah, that's a subwoofer for my speakers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my entire setup, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to make you all feel a little bit dizzy. Yeah. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this. I apologize it's taken me this long to finally bring you the setup video, but I hope you've all enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys could leave a like, that would be awesome. I hope you guys all have a cracking day, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.